Every Easter, through one great hour of sharing, Presbyterians come together to support poverty prevention and disaster relief both here at home and across the globe. Last August, after the Beirut port explosion in Lebanon, Presbyterians were quick to respond. I decided to call up our friends, Elmarie and Scott Parker, to see how our offerings made a difference. And thank you for the invitation to be part of the service in this way and greetings to everyone there at uh, First Pres Columbiana. We're grateful for your continued partnership with us. I'm Elmarie Parker and you all know Scott Parker or many of you do very well. Uh, so we've been serving here in Lebanon uh, since 2013 and it's amazing how quickly these eight years have gone, almost eight years. Uh, and right now in the midst of um, multiple crises in Lebanon, including economic and COVID and the Beirut port blast and uh, governance issues, uh, our role really is to accompany our partners and to work with them on uh, priority projects as they are discerning that in the context here. And then uh, my specific work is to help link them then with our different national ministries, including Presbyterian Disaster Assistance, which is funded through One Great Hour of Sharing. The Beirut port blast was devastating. I mean, it literally transformed the landscape of Beirut um, and it has impacted people's uh, emotional and spiritual well being uh, in addition. Uh, and there's still a tremendous amount of recovery work that needs to be done. Uh, over 300,000 families lost their homes in that blast. Right now on these particular initiatives, we're working um, through the National Evangelical Synod of Syria and Lebanon, their nonprofit that they started, Compassion Protestant Society. Uh, we're working with them uh, as they are on the ground. They're working on home restoration and also uh, being able to make food available to people. Those are their primary initiatives, some medical assistance. Um, then also the Forum for Development, Culture, and Dialogue. They are one of our interfaith partners, uh, Christians and Muslims working together. Uh, it was started by one of the local Presbyterian pastors here uh, back in the early 2000s. With the Port Blast, they added to their portfolio uh, working on home restoration and also psychosocial uh, care, which is a huge need. Uh, we've also worked with the Neary School of Theology uh, to help them restore their buildings so that they can continue on uh, with the work of training future leaders for the church and their other ministries in the community. Uh, and then we worked uh, as well with Blessed School. Um, this is one of our partners that works with students who have different disabilities and we helped them restore their building that also received a lot of heavy damage so that those students would be able to continue on with their program. One of the things our church did with COVID is that PDA seems to have dropped COVID grants throughout all of our partner or many of our partner churches. Those grants allowed our partners to be able to respond in a very timely way to, to a need that was not only deeply felt, but the anxiety level at that point was so high, um, I think in pretty much every location. And so it allowed our partners to be able to be present and to be able to share factual information with people and help them learn what they needed to do uh, in the crowded conditions in which they live to stay as safe as possible from not only contracting COVID, but from spreading it. And that, that really helped in the early stages in both Lebanon and in Iraq. Thank you, Thank you guys so much.
You're welcome.